What is going on guys, all our reptiles here, and today we are going to be building an enclosure for our hopefully soon to be frogs because the majority of my frogs slash tadpoles have died because of ick and I suck at keeping fish or anything fish related, okay? I hate water. So I, well, I don't care for water. But uh, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need this. You're gonna need something to cut stuff. Um, I know, big big blade. I love big blade. Um, and I'm gonna need. I don't have any ammo for this. Uh, there we go. And now you're going to need silicone. Uh, you just need to shove this in there and you can go bop, 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 you know. Uh, now let's get outside into my garage where we can actually cut the top of this thing. Okay, now that we are outside and these stupid cicadas, um, we are going to cut and plan with the Sharpie all the way around when, wherever and how big, whatever, uh, we're going to do. And then we'll get on to the second part, which is with the actual tub part. Uh, but cameraman, can you please throw me the drill? Do you think I'm stupid? No. Um, drill's right here. But we have to cut pilot holes first with this thing. Uh, cut on all four corners, and then we cut it out. We are going to put mesh on it, which I have in my garage, but yeah. I love this thing, if you haven't noticed. Uh, but we're gonna do that, we're gonna do time lapse, whatever, and let's do that. drilling this giant freaking thing um, and the piece that we ended up cutting out is going to be for next video part two of this which will go into that um, but this video we are basically starting on the top we have this wire mesh that I used for uh, some project you don't know about because it's not um, it's gone basically uh, it was supposed to be a cool looking like pond out of a baby pool pond and guess what it didn't end up working and great it's starting to rain um it, by the way it's like 83 out here and mega humid so it feels like 90 out here it sucks uh but my friend behind the camera and i are going to stretch this out uh do something with it and if we don't end up being able to duct tape it we are going to use zip ties uh yes they're colorful deal with it pride mom hell yeah um but don't worry, I'm not gay. Um, we are going to spread this out and all that kind of stuff. And then that will basically be it for this video, right? Oh, we need duct tape too. Dang it. We've gone up up and down the stairs like 20 times now. If you don't uh, have random things. If you don't have duct tape, that's crazy. Oh, no, I have plenty of duct tape. We were just oh. stupid. We didn't bring it up. Um, but we're going to use these clips. We're going to do another time lapse because it's going to take a long time with these tiny little clipper thingies. Let's do that.
now that we have this whole thing cut out, uh, and yes, uh, the cameraman did the majority of the work because his had springs, mine did not, and it was a lot harder because mine were bigger, he could cut two at a time, I could only cut one at a time, so, yeah. Um, but it looks curled up, but it is pretty darn perfect, but it's stabbing me. Uh, we're gonna use zip ties. I have to get a smaller, uh, bit for my drill, um, to cut holes in the plastic, and then we're going to get duct tape so it's not, you know, <clears throat> stabby, um, and wow, we am really hot. Are you hot? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're both extremely hot. Um, and this cicada is so annoying. Okay. I'm hot. Yeah, let's do that. What? We gotta save this butterfly. It's still alive. Oh my god, booty fly! Okay, we have finally finished the top, not, not the bottom yet, uh, the top of this cage. It looks so good for something that teenagers did. Looks darn good. Uh, I just want to put this on just to see. Oh my god. Oh, that's bright. That's yeah, that very bright. bright. Rip camera. <laughs> this looks so good. It is a little weak, it's a little flimsy, but at the same time, it does not matter because guess what? 14 year old kids did it, so it sucks. You know? Um, uh, stay tuned for part two where we actually do the inside of this thing and put water uh, with the silicone, which is somewhere over there. Um, and we, and then part three where we actually put a frog or tadpole in because guess what? The majority of my tadpoles died. Actually, no. Uh, 11 of the 12 of them actually died uh, because of uh, ick, I said in different videos, um, because of taking from the something happened to my pond video, I put all the fish into that tank and then back out into that tank and then that. So basically it just contaminated literally everything, so if one thing was sick it got everything else sick. Um, there is one tadpole left and uh, the crayfish is still alive. Nothing has happened to that tank, thankfully. Wow, it's an echo. Uh, now I've noticed it, okay. Uh, but that is going to do it for this part one of whole three part series. Uh, my uh, buddy behind the camera is going to probably 
come back tomorrow and help me silicone everything and then we're gonna play or like go fishing because you know I like fishing he likes fishing whatever um, we're gonna go fishing come back in like six hours or whatever uh, because it takes like six hours for the actual silicone to cure and then we can finish it up. Uh, I'm not going to put any water. I may put dirt and leaf litter in it just to get it set and put the isopods in that you actually haven't seen yet. Uh, but just to have it ready and then I can always fill up the water, whatever, because they don't have to be in like full water. Or I may put the uh, tadpole in. It It's if he survives or not because all my, oh my god, fly. Uh, all the other animals have sadly passed away other than one goldfish and two minnows are still alive and the blue crayfish um, and the tadpole are still alive but I'm rambling a lot uh, but that is going to do for this episode of all around reptiles um, this is going to be super cool uh, I want to do artwork on the sides um, honestly that may that may be the part three and then the I don't know, but stay tuned for that episode. We're going to figure that out eventually. Uh, that is going to do it for this episode of All in Rare Reptiles. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that little bell. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, it would be like an, an amazing goal. It would exceed my expectations. I'm trying to post every Monday and Thursday. Wow, I keep rambling. All right, well, that is going to do it for this episode of All in Rare Reptiles. I will see you on the next video.